guys, so I'm here with kind of a little bit of makeup and a little bit of fashion haul. I know I pretty much never buy clothes, but I bought a few items recently, and believe it or not, they were all on sale. So that's probably the only reason why. And um, some of them I got during like Black Friday weekend, and then some of them I got a few days ago for like Christmas parties and stuff. So yeah, um, I'm just going to start off with the clothing first. So first off, I got this mint sweater and um, I got this from Kohl's. It was originally $30, I think right now. It's on sale for like $15 or something and I got a size large. And this is in the color soft mint white and it's from the brand Tech Gear. And then next I am not going to show this because it's my bra and yeah, but um, I'll show you a picture of it. And it is um, also from Kohl's and it was originally $24. And they have a few different colors and it's just called a yoga sports bra. Next, I got these black and pink Sophie shorts, and they're originally $8, and I got them in a size medium. Oh yeah, also I got that sports bra in a size large, and I am a like full C cup, so it's a little bit tight, but... Um, if you're like a full C cup, I would recommend a large or an extra large. So, just throwing that out there. I don't know why they don't like tell you like the sizes or whatever. I think that's like stupid. But whatever. Then I got this scarf from Target. And it's actually like, on mine it says gray. But in person, it's like a bluish, greenish type color, and it fades into like a bone type color, like light gray, like an ombre. See, does that look gray to you? I don't know. To me, it looks blue. Maybe if I show it not on my blue sweater. See? That is so not gray, but whatever. Um, love this. It has like little fringing on the end and then it's like knit. I don't know. It's not crochet but it's something. And then I got this boyfriend cardigan also from Target and it's from Massimo and I got this in a size large also. Um, I think the color is called like cream or something and it's more of like a beige than like a cream. It's like a darker cream. It's not like a white cream. Like I don't know how to explain it but it's pretty low and um, the sleeves are pretty tight which I kind of like actually and it has some pockets and buttons on the bottom and yeah it's just super cute. Then, I got these Bear Paw boots. I think that these are like the Emma Talls or something like that. And I got a size 11. I know I have giant feet, but here's what they look like. So soft and warm on the inside. I love it. So good for winter here in Minnesota. Like, if you're not wearing boots in Minnesota, I don't know what, I don't know what you're doing, but pretty much gotta wear boots in the winter in Minnesota otherwise your feet are gonna get soaked and your thighs are gonna be freezing not your thighs but your calves and your ankles then I got this onesie from Walmart it was kind of just like on a whim type of thing I don't know because usually I wouldn't like things in this print or style because there's like dogs on it and hearts and it's kind of like Christmassy but it's really warm and I sweat in it a little bit when I'm sleeping even with the fan on so that just tells you how warm it is and it has these little um like red balls and a hood 
and yeah I was gonna get like a cuter one with like the feet but all of the feet look too small for my feet so I had to get one without feet so yeah only thing awkward about this which I didn't even like think of is like going to the bathroom like pretty much naked when you're going to the bathroom when you wear a onesie and I forgot that that was a factor in wearing a onesie but it's whatever so yeah on to makeup now I think I got these two quads one is from L'Oreal and it is the color reach in good luck charm and it looks like this. I love the packaging. It's like gold and like shiny. And um, it has like a it has like a rose gold type shade right here, and then kind of like a cream, and then two like darker browns. Oh my God! Is this coming out of the pan? That's stupid. The bottom one is like, the pan is like coming out of the packaging like, I don't know, it's weird, but whatever. Um, these are a little bit expensive and I didn't find that it was the best of quality. I have it on my eyes today and um, I just had to blend it a lot and they're not the most pigmented as I would like, um, especially this rose gold shade which I was expecting to absolutely love because it's like pink with like a gold shimmer and I don't know I was just so excited about it but it like barely shows up like you would pretty much have to use this as a highlight I used it all over my lid but like you can't really tell that it's there like it looks nothing like it does in the pan as it does on my hand unless I don't know you put it over white or something I really have no idea but there's that if you can even see it yeah, you can barely see it but I'm going to do a blog post on this so stay tuned for that and I'm also going to be doing a blog post on this other quad which is by Maybelline and it is in the color Natural Smokes. And I have to say that I like this one a lot more. Um, I haven't worn it yet, but I like it a lot more from the swatches. And I don't know. But it has like a cream color and then kind of a taupe. Then kind of like a mahogany, like reddish shimmery brown. And then a dark kind of grayish brown. So, there's that. And like I said, expect blog posts on these two. If you don't know my blog, it is Brandy K with two Ys.blogspot.com, and there's always a link down below. My L'Oreal um, eyeliner and mascara kind of dried up, so I got my new L'Oreal Voluminous Original in Carbon Black. And it has like this like limited edition packaging um favorite mascara ever and then the linear intense carbon black brush tip eyeliner love this eyeliner so much i don't know why i just can't do the felt tip i have to do the brush i don't know why that is but it just is um one of these things <clears throat> i got in store and the other one I had to buy online because they didn't have the shade in Walmart or Walgreens. So I had to buy it online. So um, if you're interested in these, just buy both of them online because you'll save money probably. But they are the Milani Secret Cover Concealers. And they're just in this gold and clear packaging. One is in the color Dark. I don't think that this is the darkest color, but it's not really, like, that dark. Um, if you guys want a review on these two, um, I use these for contouring, by the way. Um, and if you want, like, a review and a tutorial on how I do, like, my cream contour, 
um, let me know. I can definitely do that. And then the other one is in white corrector or just white. Because um, all of the cream contouring videos that I watch, um, the girls are like super tan and it just it doesn't work out for me. So there's those two. And um, I really love the contour shade um, because it is so like yellow based and I'm pretty yellow based even though I look like pink because I'm so fair but um, right now I have like a pink based foundation on which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation which just came out. It hit shelves um, pretty recently I've seen. Um, online in some blogs and stuff so there's that but there's those blended out if you can even see my stupid lighting I hate it but yeah then as a powder highlight um, I actually use the NYC smooth skin bronzing face powder in sunny for my contour. Sometimes I use other ones like um, Benefit Hula and Too Faced Bronze and Poreless, but um, those are more expensive and I don't like to use them all the time. I pretty much use them like maybe in videos or like if I'm going somewhere special. But yeah. Um. And for my highlight, I was using the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips in Vegas Strip, or the light bronzer. Um, it was just a little bit too sparkly for me and a little bit too dark. I don't know. Sometimes I use it um, just if I, like, my face is feeling really flat. But I just recently bought this CoverGirl Single Eye Shadow in Snow Blossom. And it's just a white with shimmer. Um, when I got it in the pan, it didn't look like it had shimmer, and that didn't bother me um, that it does have shimmer. Um, because it just kind of helps with making your face not look so flat. So, yeah. I got that. And then, um, these two products are skincare products. If you want to see my skincare routine, um, also let me know because these two things have made it way, made their way in there like nothing other. And I absolutely love both of these products so much. Like, I will not go without at least one of these. But this is the Maybelline the Flash Clean um, Makeup Removing Lotion. Oh my gosh. I haven't tried the gel or the eye makeup remover, which I might try the gel one just because some people say they like the lotion, some people say they like the gel more. So I really have no idea. I'm going to have to try the gel. Um, <clears throat> but this instantly removes and deeply cleans and moisturizes. I don't know about the moisturizing part. Um, my face feels a tiny bit greasy when, like, after I use it, but then, like, I use an astringent, and then that gets rid of that, so. Yeah, but this is just, like, a white, like, cream that gets rid of your makeup so easily, and you just use it with, like, um, you can do it, like, wet or dry, like, you don't need water, um, but if you have, like, a cotton pad, like, a cotton round, um, or a cotton ball, but I prefer the rounds, um, and just wipe your face off, and you don't need water at all, but you could use water and rinse it off, I don't think I've done that, just because it says you don't need to in the directions, so, yeah, and then this, oh my god, the littlest drop will cover your whole entire face, like, it's crazy, I always use way too much of this, and it's, like, weird, but this is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. And this is 12 hour moisturization and um, has a lot of vitamins in it, has no perfume, no dyes, which I like because I like to use this on my eyes also and 
Um, perfumes and stuff kind of don't really mix well with getting in your eyes. Um, so yeah, and it also has no harsh irritants that can upset your skin. It's dermatologist tested, non-comedogenic, and hypoallergenic. Um, so yeah, love this stuff. It's super moisturizing. They have a um, rich moisturizer and they have like a like thinner, kind of more lightweight moisturizer. Um, but my skin gets really dry in the winter, so I figured I would get the rich moisturizer just because. And I absolutely love it. And it is, both of these products are fairly inexpensive. They're both under $10. And I know that this is going to last me a lot longer than that because I have to use quite a bit of that because I have a big face and I wear a lot of makeup. So, um, yeah. And then this, you just need like the tiniest bit and it's so awesome. <sighs> that was a lot of rambling on just two skincare products. Um, do I have anything else? Yes. Um, I think that was just the last thing, actually. No, it's not. I have two things left, and then I think we're done. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so I got this, um, plastic soap holder and some Dove soap, and I've been using this to clean my brushes, and I absolutely love it. It cleans the brushes so much better than just putting some soap in your hand and swirling it around in your hand. Like, oh my god. And it smells good, and it's just, I don't know, it's just cool to use. I don't know, that just sounds stupid, but yeah, I like it. And then, um, I'm still kind of testing this out. I don't know if I like it or not yet, because I have only used it a few times, but I've had it for quite a while. Um, but it is the, pst, I'm just going to call it the PST. Um, the True Original Instant Dry Shampoo. It says, refreshes and revives, extends blowout and color life, absorbs excess oils, builds volume on the go. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I've only tried this a few times, and I feel like it didn't really do much. Um, so yeah. Um, let me know what dry shampoos you guys use, if you use any, and if they work for you. Um... And yeah, I do plan on getting something really, really big in the mail soon that I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions video on. And I think it is the most expensive, like, makeup type product that I've ever spent money on. <clears throat> and this is, like, basically my Christmas present for this year, so... Yeah, it's pretty big and I'm super excited about it, seeing like other people make videos about it and seeing how much they love it and yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, um, just ask in the comments and um, remember all the links to everything are down below, the clothes anyways, um, so yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.